Hello, welcome to another tutorial on Microsoft Project. Today is just going to be a quick tip on how to display traffic light status for tasks in Microsoft Project Shadow. And so if you, on the screen, I've got my definition of the traffic lights. I want to use the status. So if it's red, it shows that the task is behind shadow. Amber, it's in progress. It's green, it's 100% complete. It's white. It's not started. So, assuming I've got um, this Microsoft Project Shadow, so you've got a tax called 100% complete, it's shown as 100% complete. You're behind Shadow 1, in progress, not started, behind Shadow 2, to present all the conditions I want to play with. And I've got my current date which is the 28th of March, 2021. So first of all, I will need a custom field. So if I go add column, go for text field, so I pick text one. Now text one, so, so from format, custom field, I will name text one to status, okay. Okay, so the status is in use, so maybe call it progress status. So call it progress status. Now, I'm going to use formula, but before I use formula, before I show you the formulas, I want to define my indicators, my traffic light. So I'm going to use the graphical indicator. So click on graphical indicator. So say red is amber. So red is so we go for red, amber, green, and white. So back in my Microsoft Shadow, find them as if text one is equal to red, display red, go to amber, amber, go to. Graphical indicator if it's equal to white, a white indicator. So these are the four values we want our text one field to have red, amber, green, and white. So it's defined. So first of all, um, so the first criteria I want to test is 100% complete. If a tax is 100% complete, that's a green status. So, so what we're going to do is the formula. Normally, your formula should start from the some. So you should start from the easy criteria to fulfill to the most difficult. So the first one is the tax is 100% complete. Display green. So we come to the form, we go, we have our text field selected. So we say formula, then we need an if function. So we'll go to function general if. We replace the expression with if percent complete 100, then it's green. So we replace the true part of this formula with a, green, with a string called green. So you screen and the false part for now, put it in an empty string, so empty double quote. So what I normally do is when I write formulas, if I'm doing nested ifs, I test each each part of the if statement to see to make sure it's working before I move on to the next one. And I'll, I will encourage you to do the same. So instead of just writing all the formulas at a go, just test each each part. So now we've written the first if statement. Test it. Okay, it's saying it will delete existing data. That's fine with me. 
you can see, the first criteria is met for 100% complete, showing a green icon. That's fine. We go back to the next criteria to test was for white. So when an activity hasn't, when a task hasn't started, it's that means it's zero percent complete and the start date is not before the current date or status date. So you can use this with this formula. You can set it for current date or status date. But in this example, I'm using current date. So we know the green the green part works. So now we test for when an active when a task has not started. So we need another if function. So we replace the empty string with an if statement. Now for the expression, go with if the task send complete zero and remember most of me and the start date is not before the current date or status date so so that means our st and our start date should be greater than that date that date should be greater than my current date so greater than current date it's true replace this part with the string white Again, place the false part with an empty string so that we test second if statement to make sure it's working. Yep. So it's showing this as 0% and the start date is after our current date. Yep. This is also 0%, but the start date is before our current date, which means it's behind schedule. So that's why it's not showing the white icon, the white graphical icon. So go back to our formula. This time we want to test for tasks that are behind schedule. So there are two criteria here. You got tax is 0% complete and the start date is before the current date, which is this behind schedule two or task is not 100% complete and finish date is before current date. This example, which is behind schedule one. Okay, so if go back to our formula. Another if statement, replace the empty string with an if statement. Now, I can replace this expression with combined statement to cover these two criteria. But to keep it simple, I'm only going to show one criteria in this if statement and then the second criteria in another if statement. So for this expression, I'm going to do the tax is 0% complete and the start date is before the current date. So that's for behind schedule two. So we go for if percent complete and that date is less than less than current date so this time put a string called red and again, false part, an empty string, test it. This is right, our behind schedule two. Give us a red indicator. Yep. As shown the status for this task. Now for this one, we go back to our formula. 
then we replace the e the empty string with another if statement for the expression we want to see if it's 100 percent complete and finish date is before and current date so because i've used 100 percent complete in the first to determine green means every other thing after this first if statement it's means it's looking at if it's not 100 percent complete so this next formula i can ignore the 100 percent complete side of it so for the expression i will just look for where finish date is less than our current date so if you're using status date as the basis for comparison you can and change all instances where I have current dates to status date. So, so back to our formula where finish date is less than current date means that task is behind schedule. So I can replace this true part with the string word. And again, for the empty string, for the false part, replace it with an empty string so that I can test. Yep, you can see. Behind schedule one task is shown as red. It's true, it's behind schedule. The finish date is before current date should have finished by now. This one is also red because start date is before the current date and it's zero percent, which means it's not started. So we're left with our final criteria, which is we are amber or tasks that are in progress. That's between one and ninety-nine percent. And the finish date is not before the current date. So for this one, go back to my shadow, click my column, go to the formula. So for this one, because we've already looked at um, if finish date is before current date, show red means this part of it is fulfilled already have if statement covering 0% and also covering 100%. So it's between, the only thing left is between one and 99%. So which means we really don't need another formula. All we need to do is replace this empty string with a string called amber because this would take, so take care of all of that um, and tasks that are in progress. If you click okay, there you have it. The so, schedule is set. You can display traffic light showing status. Your task. So a recap, how we went about it. Add a, a custom column, at least text one. First of all, set your graph. Rename text one. Then set your graphical indicators whatever you're using you can use different images aside from what i've used and after that then you come to your formula and that's it that's all for today thank you for watching um if you like this video click the like button and please subscribe to this channel so that i can be motivated to produce more videos for you also if you got any questions on microsoft project p6 or excel just send me a message or uh, leave a comment below or send an email and I'll see what I can do about it. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Mm -hmm.